Welcome back to the course. In this video, I'm going to talk about the binary operators. This binary operator comes under the arithmetic operators. In the previous video, we have covered the first part, which was the unary operator, which also comes under the arithmetic operator. Now, in this video, let's talk about everything about the binary operators. So, in the binary operators, we are basically having the multiplication, the division, the remainder, the addition, and the subtraction. Let's understand all of them one by one. And please do not get confused with this plus and minus with the addition and subtraction. Basically, in theory, these are different, but in the practical way, these are same. Let's just remove it. So first, I'm going to start the learning with the multiplication. So I'm having two variables, which is int a is equal to, let's say it is 10. In the second line, I'm having one more, which is int b is equal to, let's say it is 20. And I want to display the multiplication of both these variables on the console window, then I can simply use this a multiply. To use the multiply, we have to use this star symbol that we generally have on this key 8. This is the asterisk. Let's run this application and let's see what is the output. As expected, the output is 200. We are having this 10 multiplied by 20. The output is 200. We can also perform this multiplication over here. Let's say like this and c is equals to a multiply b right and i can display this value over here so there is no difference in between them we are basically adding one extra line you can directly put this value over here or you can also use this c variable if you want to use this c at some other places let's run it see what is the output again we are having this same output and remember you can also mix all these operators together so for example if i want to increase the value of this c plus plus like this then basically we will get plus one over here in this output window so in the output window you can notice we are getting this two zero one right to perform this multiplication you can also use it like this let's say it is a multiply a for example if i want to find out the square of a particular number then i can simply use this concept like this so what we are doing we are multiplying the same number by itself and that is how we are getting this square let's run it it is hundred just for the proper formatting let's say it is let's say here i'm writing console dot right line and first i'm displaying a message please enter any number of your choice so at this second line we are getting this int a is equals to here i'm writing this convert dot to int like this so basically we are getting the value at this place i can simply use this a multiply by a a multiply by a like this let's format it and here i can display again a proper formatted message for example we can simply use this string interpolation the square of the given number is in this a is a multiplied by a like this let's run this application so here i'm typing 10 and the square of 10 is 100 let's run this application again again we are getting the same message please enter any number of your choice this time i'm using this 2 enter the square of 2 is 4 this is how we can create very basic programs and we can learn about these concepts by looking at these three lines if you are thinking that there is something that we can improve in this program just pause the video and let me know that improvement in the comment section below and on the other hand if you cannot guess then i would like to tell you that here we are using this convert dot 2 in 32 but what will happen if user is entering some string number over there then in that case we will get the error right so what is the best approach the best approach would be to use the try parse if we can convert the value then we will simply display the square if we cannot convert the value it means there is some problem in the user input then we can simply display a message that there is some problem in your input please correct it I'm not implementing that concept over here. We have already covered everything about the try parse in the previous videos. So I would like you to create the program and just paste it in the comment section below. Let's move forward and let's talk about our second operator, which is division. Division is something that we use to find out only the quotient of two numbers. Let's just comment these three lines for a while. We can reuse them in our next example. So I'm having this A, it is 10. And I'm having this int b is equals to it is 2. I want to find out the division of both of them. Console dot right line. What I can do over here is I can use this a, then forward slash this one and the b. Let's see what is the output. 
You can notice on this output window we are getting 5. What if I want to find out the remainder? To find out the remainder we have to use one more operator which is this percent symbol. Let's run this application. This time you can notice that the division is 5 and the remainder is 0. Let's use 11 over here and run this application again. Here you can notice that the division this time is this 5 and the remainder is 1 which is obviously and this is correct. We can also use some decimal number as well over here. So for example if I am having this double and I want to divide this double with this integer which is quite possible. Let's run it. And you can see this is the output. We are having this 5.5, right? If you are using simply this division, because we are having this double, so we can get the value in the point as well. And this will be the remainder if you are simply using this a divided by b. We can also use the minus and plus, which is unary operator over here. For example, if I'm having this minus, let's run this application. You can notice we are getting this minus value over here in this output window. So basically, all the basic mathematical operations are quite possible at this particular place. So we have covered the multiplication, we have also covered this division and we have also covered this remainder. So in the same concept you can also create couple of programs like if you need to find out the division of two numbers then again you can get two numbers from the user and you can basically perform it and you can display the value on the output window. Just try to implement all these operators with this concept and simply post your code on the comment section below and I will definitely review that. Let's talk about the new one. The new one is very simple. This is plus and plus is something that we use to add two or more values. So for example, if I want to add both these, then I can use this a plus b. So what I'm having is I'm having this a is equals to minus 11 and b is equals to 2. I believe this is the level of math that we have already covered in our previous classes. So the output is minus 9. Why? Because it is minus 11 plus 2. If one is minus, one is plus, then basically there will be a kind of subtraction. So we are having this minus 9 over here. If there is no minus, which is 11 plus 2, then we will get 13 over here in this output window. This is very obvious. In this concept, there is no restriction that you can use only two numbers. You can also use three numbers over here. For example, we are having this C and let's say it is 3. And over here, if I want to write this C like this, this will also work. You can create any kind of level of expression over here and everything will work. So we are having the 16 at this place, right? For example, if I want to perform this multiplication, this will also work. What will be the output? So this will work exactly like we used to have some operator precedence in our mathematical. So basically first this multiplication will be calculated and then this plus, which is the addition will be calculated. Let's run it. So we are having this 17. Why? So 3 multiplied by 2, which is 6, 6 plus 11, which is 17. That is why we are getting this output. Just like this addition, we also have the subtraction. So we can use the minus as well over here. So first let's try with only two operators like this. Run it. See, we are having the 9 over here. So 11 minus 2, which is 9. And again, we can also use one more minus over here and let's say I can write one more B. So basically there is no restriction on how you are writing them. This is just the simple mathematical operations that we have already learned and covered in all our previous classes. Note in this course, basically in your all previous standards. The output is 7. You can use plus as well over here. You can also use the multiplication over here and you can also use the division over here. You can also use some hard-coded values as well over here. Let's say I want to add the 10 like this. So you can make your expression based on your need. Run it. You will get the proper output over here. Now, if you want to prioritize the operation, then you can also use some parenthesis as well over here. Like this, right? Like this. So this expression will also work. And remember, this will be the concept that will be used in almost all the interview questions, especially for the freshers, because they want to know, do you basically understand these very basic concepts or not? So you can basically try all these things in your program and you can practice and practice and practice. And that is how you will learn it. So along with these operators, there is one more thing that you can also apply. And let's try that as well. Let's assume that I'm having this int a and its value is 10. What if I want to increase this value by one, then I can simply use this a plus plus what if I want to increase the value by 2 then I can simply write it like a is equals to a plus 2 right I can do that 
but there is one more simplest way we can write a plus equal to so what i'm doing is i'm basically putting this plus before this equal symbol and i'm just removing it these two expressions are same so over here if i will display the value on the console dot right line method and let's just basically display them at all the levels run it so we are having this 10 this is the output of this first line then we are basically adding 2 over here so this is the 12 and again we are using this 2 over here this is 14 right so in this situation you can use any number over here for example you want to use maybe 3 over here and this time you can see we are getting this 3 see we are getting this 12 plus 3 which is 15 over here and it is not fixed that you can use only the hard-coded values you can also use let's say it is 3 plus 3 you can basically you can give any kind of expression as well over here right so if you are having one more variable which is int b is equals to 10 or maybe this time let's keep it 20 so over here you can also use this b see let's run this application and let's see how the output is very interesting so the output from this first method is this 10 now we are increasing the value by 2 we are getting the 12 over here in the next line if i will just divide this line so how we are doing it a is equals to a plus 3 plus 20 so basically that is the concept what is the current value of a over here it is 12 we are adding 3 to it so 12 plus 3 is equals to 15 and then the 20 which is 35 and how it will work first the second part will be calculated and then it will be added to the left one so how it will work so first the value of this b will be calculated b which is 20 plus 3 which is 23 and then we are adding and then we are adding the value of a which is 12 at this place and that is why the output is 35 over here and this is not only limited to the plus and minus you can also use the remainder the division all of them over here so i would like you to try both these things by yourself and tell me your feedback in the comment section below that is all in this video thank you for watching have a great day